The last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world to show how to be closer to Allah. He is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Inshallah, in this episode, we will discuss another creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their Prophet. As we know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created millions and billions of creations, which we cannot finish to count. Everything follows Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's laws. But, among them, only two of His creations are different and special and those two creations are human and jinns they can do whatever they want to do they are free to do either good job or bad jobs but other creations don't have that kind of freedom so on the day of judgment for human and jinns Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish those who did bad jobs and give reward to those who did good job in their lifetime. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful and He doesn't want us to go to the wrong path. So, in order to guide us, He sent many prophets so we can go to the heaven and get our rewards. So, what about the jinns? Who was their true prophet? Between human and jinns, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the highest position to the humans. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not send any prophets for the jinn. Every single human prophet that were ever sent, they were also the prophets for the jinns. So, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was also the prophet for the jinns? Yes, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was also the last prophet for the jinns. In this episode, we will see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the last prophet for the jinns. So, let's start our story for today. It was the time when Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was going back to Mecca after visiting the city of Ta'if. During the middle of that journey, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam took a rest in a place for few days. One morning, the Prophet was praying Fajr prayer. At that time, a group of jinns who were made by fire heard Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam reciting the Quran. That group of jinns were very amazed to hear the Quran from Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They immediately accepted Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a prophet and believed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was their true god. When the prayer was finished, those group of jinns returned to their town and told the other jinns about the new revelation, the Quran and the last prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They told all the jinns to accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their God and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as their last prophet. Did Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam know about the jinns who were listening to him during the prayer? No. At that time, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam didn't know about this group of jinns. Later, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about that event in Surah Ahkath and Surah Jinn. After a few days, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam started his journey to his hometown of Mecca. But at that time, Muslims were very weak in Mecca. He did not want to enter Mecca without any protection. So, he waited in Cave Hira and sent a man to send some of the leaders of Mecca and requested some protection so the bad people could not harm Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Finally, a leader 
Mut'im, who was not a Muslim, agreed to give protection to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Mut'im and his sons armed themselves and waited for Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to give him their protection. Then the Prophet happily entered the city with their help. He directly entered the Kaaba and prayed a short prayer and then went home with the help of Mut'im and his son's protection. Mut'im did a very good job. Did he become a Muslim? No, he didn't become a Muslim, but Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was very grateful for his support. As usual, the bad people from Mecca tried very hard to prove Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a false prophet. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed the people many different kinds of proof that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a true prophet. But the bad people still could not believe in Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. One day, some of the bad people called Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam at the Kaaba. The people asked him to show him a big miracle to prove his prophethood. Just like the other prophets such as Musa and Saleh and Isa peace be upon them all. They requested him to turn Mount Safa into gold or move the mountains to another place or break the sky or many different other crazy demands. They promised that if Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam could do such a thing, they would become a Muslim. The Prophet prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to show a big miracle so that the bad people would accept Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that that bad people would never become Muslims even if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed them a big miracle. Because without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings, no one could become a Muslim. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's order, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told them the most powerful is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a prophet is just a human. Hearing that the people were starting to think that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was not a true prophet and that's why he couldn't show the miracle. In that situation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam a special ability to show a great miracle in front of many people the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam broke the moon into two pieces each piece was on either side of mount hira everybody was shocked to see that and they could not believe their eyes so they thought that it must be magic and they broke their promise to accept Islam well that's all for today inshallah we'll see you next time the prophet story these series are going to have several episodes and it is all thanks to you for supporting us You can donate today to help us make more Islamic content by giving us a one-time donation or becoming a monthly member for the whole thing.